One of the many parts of our family archives are our scrapbooks. They're cluttered with images of some of the greatest childhood memories, like our trip to Chicago, my creepy smiles, other great family memories, and lots of other good stuff. But amongst all the pages are a few that are really important to talk about, and that was our first trip to the beach. My dad wrote this in the scrapbook. After years of trying to build sandcastles in rocks and imitation sand, we finally made it to a real beach. And that beach's name is Hilton Head Island. So where are we going? We're going to Hilton Head Island. It is June 21st, 2019, and we are going to our favorite vacation spot. This whole vacation is basically my project for the summer. Um, I'm going to post every Tuesday from here on out. Today's a Tuesday. We are currently on vacation when this video is uploaded. Um, and going to kind of take you on a really in-depth journey of our vacation. You know, most of the time I just do an overview. This year it's going to be really, really, really in-depth. I said we're going to be bringing back memories of all vacations and kind of reliving it all full circle. So it's going to be fun series I'm going to make here, uh, a lot of quality content coming out here, and uh, yeah, I don't know what the heck I'm going to title this, but whatever I did decide, roll the intro. <laughs> I just now realize I have only one sock on. Okay, that's besides the point. So we're headed back to a place that is super important to our family. It is, will be after this trip, the second most visited place. It's the family vacation era uh, behind Branson, Missouri. One thing I'm really looking forward to this vacation, sure, the beach is gonna be awesome, all this stuff is gonna be awesome, but it's the first time in about two, two years, maybe longer than two years, that just us four are going on a vacation, and it'll be the first time I've ever brought the camera along on a vacation with just us four. Um, and, you know, I miss these, just going us four because the big fam is awesome. Love doing it with the big fam, but it can be overwhelming at times. So it's gonna be nice to just have us four go. This one week, we can all just go leave our lives here and go to a place where we can just enjoy our own company. We drive to Hilton Head because your mother doesn't want to ride an airplane ever. So as long as she's grounded, everything is good. It takes us a little bit longer to go there, but we enjoy the scenery and it just makes the uh, trip much that much more enjoyable. But we take lots of stops, get to see the sights. I remember one time we stopped in uh, Metropolis, Illinois to take a tour of the Superman Museum. Uh, things like that are always fun as you travel across America. And car drives, you might say car drives suck, but car drives are actually kind of fun and I am kind of looking forward to this one because we have lots of laps in the car. It's always a debacle when we try to figure out how to get to Hilton Head because we have so much luggage to carry. It's not so much of the clothing, it's all the sand tools, the golf clubs, the shovels, the beach chairs. None of that ever fits in any of the cars that we have. Well, you might wonder how all our luggage fits in that car. Well, guess what? It doesn't. We got this thing that goes on top of it, but we gotta get it down, so this is gonna be kinda crazy. First attempt was a failure. <laughs> so we have a torpedo that we throw on top of the car and it gets us there. We always tried to rent a van, always tried to get a different car, but um, just unnecessary expense. We'd rather spend that money while we're on our vacation. We just gotta get there to our destination, sleep in the hotel rooms, and we're good. Here's the next show, Engineering Marvel. That's what this is. <laughs> We've used this thing for three vacations, I think. This is Estes Park. Or the best thing that I like about Hilton Head, though, is the bicycling. 
It's a very bicycle friendly community. There's bicycle trails all over the island. And when you check into the hotel, they immediately take you to the bike rental store and you can rent your bikes and you've got them for all week. And anytime you wanna go out and enjoy the evenings or the early mornings or take a ride to the beach, you can do it easily on your bicycle. We leave in T minus 24, T minus 24 hours. Um, we got a lot of packing to do, but we started this morning off with some good news that my sister passed her boards test for nursing, so she's a real nurse now. Packing! Most important item for the vacation is swim trunks. Five pairs of socks. This is the pile of underwear. Five pairs of gym shorts. Two pairs of golf shorts. Five t-shirts and two golf shirts. There's the pile of greatness. Now we got to fold it. To clarify, this is my bed. We're just cleaning sheets today, so my, I don't sleep on this. Also, don't give me crap about my folding. I know it's horrible, but I never have worked at Old Navy or anything like that, so it's going to be bad. Well, I'm actually pretty impressed with my work right there. The most important jobs we have to take care of before we go on vacation is we gotta move along. I haven't moved along in like two and a half years, but uh, my dad's working from home right now and he's gonna pack all night, so I thought I'd take care of something for him so he didn't have to worry about it. That's really all about the preparation that goes in to the pre-vacation. So I guess this is this is in from pre-vacation. Gonna go to work uh, and then come home, finish packing, get up, then fall asleep, get up, go, and uh, all that'll be in episode two. So tune in. I'm ready for this vacation. It's gonna be it's gonna be hype. Testing one two. Can you hear me? June. Wait, cut. What's the date? June 21st.